You say, okay, well, like science knows this, but 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 people still buy this? Oh God, yeah. $1.8 billion in 2024 annual sales for BCAAs, second only to protein and creatine in the specialty amino acid aisle, which is one hell of an aisle. Scott, you want a specialty amino acid aisle at your local store? Actually, there's um, a couple of really awesome supplement stores in Vegas that have dedicated aisles oh, yeah. for very, very like specific supplements. It's awesome. You can get anything you want. So don't go into that aisle. Specifically, there's other better aisles. Here's the reality. Let's go right to our fact checker, to our to our metric to see how much BCAs actually do. Over the course of a 12-week phase of taking very robust dose of BCAs, you can expect to add approximately 0.3 pounds of muscle, which is uh, 12% or so of creatine's expected effect. Guys, remember, creatine is a supplement that when you take, in most cases, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm like 12 weeks later, I feel a little bigger, a little jacked. It's nothing crazy. You take nothing crazy. You take 12% of that. What the f- does that leave you with? Probably disappointment. And since BCAs don't burn any fat, the supplement scores 0% of terzepatide's fat loss punch. So we're talking about 12% of the effect of creatine for probably even higher the price. And if you're eating enough protein, that effect dwindles down to pretty much zero. Uh, 